Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of The Founder. Today with me, I got Tanuja from Creator Crafts. How are you doing, Tanuja? I'm doing very well, thank you. Awesome. So tell me a little bit about your company. So we Creator Crafts. Uh, we incorporated in 2016, uh, December. We manufacture product uh, using laser technology. Okay. Uh, so our product range varies from kitchenware, homeware, uh, stationaries, etc. Awesome. So, how did it all start? You said in December 2016, right? Right. Uh, how did it all come together? Like, what really got you to thinking, oh, I want to do this? this. So, uh, when I was in, in, in New York, okay. uh, so I saw a few unique, precise products. So, I was wondering how they made this because it's really precise cutting and very, very uh, unique products. So after I came back, I wanted to do some research about it, and I did some research and figured out, okay, this is how you, they make it. So after a point, uh, I thought, okay, why not? Why can't I do this? Because we can't find those kind of products in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. So that's how I started. So was it difficult to get the technology uh, for your products? Uh, in the beginning, uh, I didn't have any, any knowledge about uh, knowledge about uh, software designing mm -hmm. because it's all about designing so after i figured out okay this is the best uh, machine i always wanted to get the best machine mm -hmm. for in the industry and after i figured okay this is the best machine i thought okay how do i put it in now okay the the technical aspect because my background is uh, business management and international oh, business wow. so i didn't have much knowledge about the, the softwares to use, mm -hmm. uh, design uh, products, okay. also the technical aspect, as well as uh, the whole whole uh, making a product. Okay. So that was very challenging in the beginning, and as well as uh, sourcing materials mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in Sri Lanka because it's all new new technology yeah. to to put it together. It was very challenging in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Now I assume you know you having this idea. It's it's something that you would want to pursue. Obviously, you need help as well. So, who has been your main support system throughout everything? So my main support system is uh, my husband. Okay. So he has uh, he helped me immensely to build this brand. Up. Also, he has been the pillar uh, throughout. He helped me out a lot. Yes. Yeah. And uh, to get started off, obviously. Um, you know, get everything sorted out in terms of starting the company, the name and everything else. And how did you get a team to work for you? Like what was the initial stages of getting your first product out? So uh, basically after that I used to uh, go to supermarkets and, and see what products they have. Okay. What can I do? Uh, something different, unique. So when I, when I was thinking and discussing with uh, my husband and just so thought, okay, why not? I think I can do something, like I can do almost everything using that machine. Yeah. Uh, so I thought, okay, let me start with uh, uh, simple products. So we started off with Christmas decorations. Christmas decoration. Christmas okay. decoration. In 2016, December, we started off with Christmas yeah, decorations perfect. for, a, for a, a department store. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how we started. And then from there, we move on to different, different uh, product branches. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah. So, what was the Christmas product that you made? Uh, it's, it's the ornaments we hang on the trees. Oh, that's adorable. Yes. <laughs> and also a few other, a uh, few other small ornaments we can keep it on the table. Okay, yes. and you have probably advanced those Christmas decorations to other things now, coming into a brand new December. Yeah? That's that's true because our product was unique because. Uh, in the market, you can uh, only find the regular, uh, normal uh, decoration. Yeah. But our product was uh, different because and it's unique, unique yeah. and it made out of we made out of uh, wood. Mm -hmm. uh, also, it's specially wood. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, Tanucha, I want to ask you, like, how was financing for you? Was it hard in the beginning, and were the banks helpful in any way? Oh, uh, actually, to be a Frank, uh, we are self-sufficient. Okay. So it, we didn't need much uh, support from the bank or, or any other. Okay. People, okay. Yeah. 
So Tanja, tell us what your most frustrating moment is starting up this business. So yeah, in the beginning, uh, it was difficult to make others understand what the products are and also to make our clientele understand what we are manufacturing mm -hmm. and promoting. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was the difficult part for us. Okay, because when you say that you um, have the laser technology, obviously people are confused as to what it is because there are is. so many versions That's of right. the laser technology. Right. Totally get it. So we have to take the sample samples with us yeah. to show them, okay, this is the product we are uh, manufacturing. It okay, cool. So now that you're your own boss, if you had the opportunity to work for someone else, would you? I would say no. No, okay. It's because... Uh, I enjoy being an independent decision maker. Also, I love what I'm doing at the moment. Yeah. And if something goes off down the line, I am solely responsible for it. So what is your definition of success? My definition of success is, uh, it's, it's different from person to person, but mine is work-life balance. Okay. Because in the beginning, I used to work like, 16, 17 hours at a stretch. Okay. Like after a point, I realized, oh, this is I can't do this to myself. Okay. I need to have my personal life as well. Yeah. So then I figured out, okay, let me how 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 I can have that work-life balance. And okay. then now I could say, if I don't even go go to the office for one week or two weeks, it'll run it itself. Okay, yes. okay. Yeah. But that's crazy. Like, you've been working at a stretch and like, what about sleep? <laughs> so, uh, there, there were periods that uh, I used to work from okay. morning till midnight and okay. I would take about two to three hours two. break. Wow. Yes, and then again I start. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so I think that, that actually answers my next question, the craziest thing that's you've right. done. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, but it all paid off for yes. some great yes. things. Yes. And uh, well, if you ever had the opportunity to, you know, sit at dinner with uh, any other founder that you admire, who would it be? Uh, if it is domestic, I would say I admire Otara. Okay. Also Linda Spaldevin. Okay. Uh, if it's uh, if it's from somebody from uh, other countries, I would say Jack Ma, mm -hmm. uh, the founder of Alibaba Group. So they, they really inspired, their story is really inspired. Okay, that's amazing. So Dhanuja, if it wasn't for the business you have now, what other startup would you have you know, picked up on instead of uh, Creator Crafts? So I still would have working for my husband yeah. in his company. Uh, because before I started start Create Crafts, I was working with him. Okay, yes. that's amazing. And uh, it's kind of the same because your husband is supporting you at the same time too, right? Yes, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So this one last question that I want to ask you is uh, for the wonderful spaces that we are here in today, Colombo Cooperative, uh, providing workspaces and uh, creative spaces for companies of all sizes. Tarunja, what was your first workplace like? So it was about uh, in a house. In a okay. House. It was like 75 to 100 square feet. A small, tiny room where we just put our machineries mm -hmm. as well as then this, there was a small table and a chair. Okay. So that was like a, that's the startup. So we didn't have much, uh, much, much workspace. Yeah. Uh, now we have moved to about 3,000 square feet. Uh, oh, that's amazing. Uh, Humble yeah. beginnings, right? Yes. Yeah. It was a small, like, <laughs> small, tiny room. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's amazing. The, uh, look how far you've come. And yes. there's obviously so, so much more in the future, right? What yes. are you planning on for the year 2020? 2020, to create more unique products, to, to develop uh, more unique products. and. And I want everyone to be aware of our brand, to, to make others understand the brand and what we are doing. Right now, I think not everyone is aware, aware of what uh, we are doing and what this brand is about. Oh, yeah. So that's the plan. Well, I've had a wonderful time with you. So thank you so much for joining us. I wish you all the very best of luck. Thank and you, uh, you. I'm, I'm going to come and look through your stuff as well. Definitely, yeah, <laughs> definitely. You should. You should come, yeah. I can show you. <laughs> so that's Tanuja with me right now from Creator Crafts. I hope you enjoyed that.